what we have here is a uh, wedding scene. Our two lead characters, David and Layla, are getting married. Layla's Kurdish, and, uh, and David is Jewish, and so it's kind of this melange of two different cultures coming together. Um, and the intent of the scene is a very joyful one, a very festive one. I like working with new directors and the talent. I also enjoy the fact that um, I'm working on a film where I could be extremely creative to take mosh two different cultures and how they, as outsiders looking in, view American style and American fashion and how they interpret it in their way. I mean, not much architecture, but they wear everything on their on their person. It'd be a great. I mean, a contrast between the two. It's amazing. Very plain interiors, but the people are just decorated to the hill. The wedding dress and the groom's clothes are real from the real David and Leila, but everything else. Uh, I ordered and sm uh, was smuggled through a journalist through Syria to Washington DC and then the UPS to my apartment here. The challenge and the tease become more joyful because the kids are doing, imitating as best they can both sides. Some kids with kippah and some kids with a pillow, which is a bigger kippah. It's a miracle to actually make any film, but um, this film, even more so because I'm a new immigrant in America, no family, no friends, no government, no financing. It's not just Romeo and Juliet, two households. It's two households, a Jewish and a Kurdish Muslim household. What the script to me is about is about how much more um, similar we are than we are different. The issues, instead of uh, something that could be offensive or something that could be um, um, hitting you over the head, his comedic timing and, and um, the way he deals with all the characters in such a real way, um, I think softens anything that could be considered, you know, could, that could rub anybody the wrong way. Right now, we, we don't trust each other very much in this world, or at least there's questions about what's going on. And this story tells that hatred is foolish, love is wise. I think that's a wonderful story, and it's told with warmth and humor and sex and, and drugs even, <laughs> and rock and roll. No, it's got the whole thing. I, I'm really enjoying Jay and, and this, this story, this picture.